Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I have quite a big premiere yarn haul for you guys to the point where this box is quite heavy for me to lift. And that is because I did mainly order cones for the chenille because recently I haven't been able to find them at Dollar Tree. So I'm kind of getting worried that they might be discontinuing yarn at Dollar Tree, or I should say just chenille yarn, because they still have a lot of other yarn. But I don't know if that's just my local area or if that's everywhere. You guys can let me know in the comments below. But honestly, it's a better deal when you order the cones anyway, when you add up the yardage and everything. So I'm not mad about it, but this box is very heavy. So anyways, we're just gonna open this up. I haven't done that yet. And I'm honestly not 100% sure if I remember what I even ordered. I do know that there's some cones in here, but I think there's also some parfait chunky and maybe other yarns, but I think it's just chenille and parfait chunky only. Now, what I should tell you before we get on with this video is I do have a discount link in the description of every single one of my videos for Premier Yarns. It gets you 10% off any yarn that is a regular price on their site. I do believe it has to be your first purchase from Premiere for that 10% off to work. So if you've never purchased from Premiere before and you want to get 10% off, then you can use that link. It may work even if you've already purchased from Premiere, but I'm not gonna guarantee that. But anyways, it's a win-win situation if you do purchase from that link because you get the discount and I get reward points, which I use for free yarn that of course I share with you in hauls because anytime I buy yarn I share with you guys. But anyways, with that all out of the way, we are now going to crack open this box, which I am seeing a lot of pretty colors and I'm now remembering what I ordered. So I'm really excited about this. Okay. So I got quite a few colors that are new to me as well as colors that I already know and love for just chenille and for parfait chunky. So a color that I was running low on was the color key lime in parfait chunky. So I went ahead and got two of those. Don't mind me struggling to get the packaging off. Okay, there we go. So I have two of these, which just is like the lime green color. And I got a few parfait chunkies, but I'm only gonna give you the breakdown once since they will all be exactly the same, just different colors. So Premier's Parfait Chunky Yarn is 131 yards, 120 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 100% polyester, a super bulky number six, and suggest eight millimeter crochet hooks and knitting needles. So like I said, two in key lime because I was kind of running low on this color. This next color is another one that I was kind of running low on and I used this color an awful lot. So of course I needed to restock on this and this is the color Sunshine, which I went ahead and got two of this one as well. I think pretty much every single Parfait Chunky I got, I ended up getting two of them because I feel like with them only being 131 yards, I worry about if I'm gonna run out and I don't wanna run out. So I always get two of each color, unless it's like black or white that I use for everything almost, then I get three, sometimes even four. But anyways, I think all these colors that I have left for Parfait Chunky now are ones that are new to me that I have yet to purchase these exact colors. So I'm excited about that. This one is the kind of creamy color that is called Shell that I've been eyeing for quite a while. It's a nice like neutral beige cream color, which I really liked, so I got that. Next for the fall season, this is perfect, which I think I might actually be like posting this video in like November or something. But as I'm recording this, it's September 24th. I have so many videos already filmed that that's why I think it's gonna be like late October or November before you're even seeing this, but still it'll be fall time. And I think this pretty orange color would be super cute for fall. This is the color mango. So I could definitely see a lot of cute pumpkins with this or like anything really that would be fall colors, I think would be 
so cute in this so of course i picked that up next we have another yellowy color that i have never bought before and that is the color mustard which this is another color that i've eyed for quite a while and just never got but this time i had a lot of reward points for you guys using my link so thank you so much if you have used my link i had a lot of the reward points saved up so i think i got like almost all this for free i don't think i saved the receipt or anything so i don't know how much i actually paid but i do believe I got most of this for free which is awesome so again thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it and like i said it's a win-win anyways if you want to get your own discount but anyways mustard which again i think would be really cute this is like the perfect chicken nugget color so i think that'd be really cute Alrighty, next we have again another new color because like i said all the rest of the perfect chunky ones i got in this order were new colors to me they aren't like new from premiere but they're new to me that i've never ordered before and these two are the color peach which i feel like is perfect to describe them because they are pretty much a peach color so this will be another one that is super cute for a lot of different things next we have this color that is called mint which again pretty much describes it perfectly here is these two which they are so so pretty i feel like a lot of these i'll probably make axolotls with because i like to do the axolotls with two like contrasting colors so like this pink i might do with like a brighter pink or like this green I could do with the darker green that I already have and I feel like it'd be cool for axolotls. Alright, final two parfait chunky ones that I have to share with you is these two pink ones and this is the color bubblegum which is so, so pretty. Just picture like these two together maybe for an axolotl. I think that'd be really cute. Or even... Some of the other like darker pinks that i have i feel like would be cute with this one or this one so anyways that is it for the parfait chunkies and now we have three chenille cones which this is what was making this box heavy because these things are huge so the first one is a color that i use a ton and have not been able to find recently in stores at Dollar Tree so I was like I need to pick this up while I'm shopping online because it scares me when I get low on a color that I use a lot <laughs> but anyways this is the Just Chenille Cone by Premier and I'm gonna go ahead and give you the breakdown for this one so this is 1312 yards there's 1200 meters 35 ounces 1000 grams it is 100% polyester, super bulky number six, suggests eight millimeter knitting needles and crochet hooks. And this one is the color gray. And that's the name, gray. But this is the color that I use for my possums. If you guys have seen my crochet possums, they're one of my best sellers. And because of that, I go through this yarn a lot. And when my local Dollar Trees have not been having it, I'm like, Okay, I've got to hit up premiereyarns.com because I cannot run out of this because, like I said, those are my number one bestsellers. I'm not going to run out of the yarn for my number one bestseller, at least if I can help it. So anyways, I got this one. And then my last two yarns are cones as well. And it is two of the newer colors they released, which I noticed actually last time I ordered the Premier de Chenille cones because I got one of the new colors, this time I have two of the new colors. The breakdown for the new colors is actually different. So I believe once they sell out of their stock of the existing colors that they've had like always, that the breakdown will probably switch to this. So I will tell you the breakdown for this one and just know that it is the same for this one and the next one I'm going to show you. And this breakdown in my opinion is a lot more accurate because they 
listed as a number six super bulky and it is not that thick at all so like i said this is a lot more accurate in my opinion but anyways it is 100 polyester a five bulky and then it suggests five and a half millimeter knitting needles or six and a half millimeter crochet hooks now the yardage and the ounces and grams and all of that is the same but they have just switched the hook size that they recommend to needle size and it's now a bulky five instead of a super bulky number six which like i said i tend to agree with a lot more honestly in my mind this could even be like a four and it would still be like kind of fitting maybe like a four and a half but five is definitely a much better fit for this yarn than a six anyways i've rambled about that for a long time but this green color is a new one and it is the color lily pad which i think is so cool they have a lighter green that i use a lot for frogs and i think this darker green will be really cool for frogs as well so i'm excited to use this for that and i'm sure for lots of other things all right you guys final yarn for today's haul is the final cone which again is going to have that same breakdown as the green one i just showed you and this one is the newer orange color and this is the color orange sherbet which i love 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 i love the new colors that they came out with which i'm saying new but they're honestly not that new even as i'm filming this and probably as you're seeing this they're definitely not that new um but anyways <laughs> this is a newer color in general it's something they released after the original colors i'll just put it that way but anyways orange sherbet i am so excited about this color as well because they had a lighter green like i said so the green wasn't like something that they super needed for just chenille but they did not have an orange at all for just chenille so i'm very excited that they now have an orange the only thing i really want from premiere premiere if anyone from premiere is watching this please at least consider my request of a red i feel like red is one of those colors that the dye is probably hard to get right because out of most yarns like that's one of the colors most brands are lacking is red but all red just chenille then my life would be complete it seriously would be i mean i would love other colors as well like different variations of orange or more variations of pink or whatever else but seriously a red would like complete the rainbow for the just chenille line so i would love to see that like i've been doing for my hauls recently i'm going to take a few minutes to organize these yarns that i just unboxed into my shelves here or over there somewhere and then we will get to the end of this video but i like doing this just to hold myself accountable because otherwise these yarns might stay on this couch for like a week <laughs> or longer who knows see me struggling with that i need to slow down on the perfect chunky purchases <laughs> i could have put some of like the spares over in the shelves but i was like you know what i'm here i'm just gonna make it all fit but there's a lot in here <laughs> anyways we're gonna put the chenille cones over there now and then that'll be all for the organization So a goal of mine is to use up majority of my small stains like this from Dollar Tree so that I can fill the shelf with the cones after those are used up. But for now, all the cones are just going at the back of the small stains. 
and now at the back is where my acrylic yarn as well until I have used up these smaller ones that are up front. So anyways, that is the current situation and it is now all organized even though I am out of breath. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite yarn was that I showed in today's video. And as always, let me know some project ideas you think I should make with these yarns. I a lot of times buy yarns on a whim and don't know what I'm going to make with them. So I always love to hear your suggestions for what you think would look cool with these specific yarns that I'm sharing throughout different hauls. And if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on more hauls like this in the future, as well as all of my other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do want to see more from me in general, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social media is my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. And if you do want to check out these yarns, I will have them linked below for you, as well as that 10% off discount for Premier Yarns, of course, is always linked below for you. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!